So, good evening everyone. Uh, today's lesson is about assignment problem. As mentioned, transportation problem is a special structure of linear programming because it still uses the function of linear programming in the form of a specific function which is to assign uh, sources to different destinations that will give the most minimum or the least minimum cost of transportation. Assignment model on the other hand or assignment problem on the other hand is a special structured transportation problem because the function is still the same with transportation problem. It's just that the main focus of assignment is to assign one worker to a specific job. So it's a special structure because I will explain here. Of course, when we answer this type of problem, we have three jobs, A, B, and C, but we have three machines. So to be able to determine which machine will give us the most minimum or optimal solution, we can do the probability type of answering. However, if you will be having more than four to ten jobs and four to ten uh, workers already, of course, it will lead you to a longer probability type of answering. That is why there is a method introduced by assignment model, which is the common one. We call it Hungarian method. Okay, so uh, please take note of the following characteristics of an assignment model. Again, it's a special case of transportation. Like or unlike transportation problem, the right-hand sides are basing on its demand and capacity, right? But here, the right-hand sides will always be equal to 1 unless necessary, wherein it will specify that uh, one worker can take up two or more jobs. Okay, so the value of all your decision variables should only be 0 or 1. That's why uh, in decision-making, uh, it's either that worker will not be assigned or will be assigned. Okay, so this is the specific uh, representation of an assignment model. For example, you have three workers and three types of job. So it's either he will be assigned to job one or two or three, then worker two to one, two or three, and three to uh, one, two or three. Now, the very crucial thing that you have to remember when doing assignment model is that they should have equal number. Unlike transportation, we can have M by N. M, source, and N, destinations. But for assignments, it's a special structure of transportation. You have to only have uh, equal number of workers and equal number of jobs. So therefore, if the given is um, lacking, meaning to say you have only three workers but you have only two available jobs you have to create a dummy job or vice versa for example if you only have if you have uh, two workers only for three types of jobs then you will have to add a dummy worker so that's how you do it so the linear programming formulation is minimum especially if we talk about cost but assignment model can also take maximum if for example teaching load or um, the bidding, for example. So if it takes, um, if the objective is to determine which is the best assignment for, uh, in order to maximize a such measure, then we use maximization. But most of the time, assignment is uh, minimization. Okay, so you have to put constraints for each of the resource row and another constraints for the job, which is column. And of course, don't forget your um, don't forget your non-negativity constraint. But this time, it should be focused on either either the variables are zero or one, if needed be. As mentioned, a modification of the right hand side right hand side may be done if the worker is permitted to work more than one job. Okay, so this is now the type of method that we are going to use, the Hungarian method. So I will not go through 
uh, the details there but I'm going to answer it with a paper, with a pen and paper. So let's just say you're given this problem. A contractor pays his subcontractors a fixed fee plus mili uh, mileage for work performed. So on a given day, the contractor is faced with three electrical jobs associated with the pro various projects. Given it below are the distances in miles because it was mentioned in the previous statement that it is uh, there is a fixed fee uh, in the milliage, so this is in terms of miles between the subcontractors and the projects. So the subcontractors for this problem are Westside, Federated, Goliath, and Universal. However, you only have three projects A, B, C. That is why you have to add a dummy account, which is we call that as project dummy. Okay, so this is the network representation, and this is its program mean formulation or the LP model. So as mentioned, those costs, so these costs found here are only present in the objective function. The same with transportation problem, okay? That's why 50x11, meaning that's worker 1 to job 1, or uh, the first one is west, right? So west side to uh, project A. So you can also do WA if it is easier for you. So it depends on which one is easier for you to, to do. And then we have 36 for west side to project B, so on and so forth. And as you notice, even the dummy is included in the objective function. And it will take zero cost, of course. Okay, And even in the constraints, the dummy variables are present. The same with how we computed for the number of variables and constraints with um, transportation model, that is also how you do it in assignment model. So I'll go now to, okay, later. So since you have a four, right, four um, workers, yeah, four subcontractors, and you also have four projects, that is why your variables will be 4 times 4, right? To compute for the number of variables, we multiply n by n. So 4 times 4, you have 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And for the number of constraints, we have n plus n, right? So that's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's 8, okay? Sige. So, this is now your initial tableau setup. So, we already added the dummy account. So, this time, I have to transfer now to pen and paper. Okay, so, having the same problem, the first step in an Algarian method is creating the initial tableau setup, which is this one. You already included the dummy account, where uh, the dummy project, which is having zero cost. So, the first step is you have to subtract the most minimum or the least number per row first. So in this case, since your most minimum value is zero, automatically when we subtract zero to the same values, they will have the same answer. So step one is already done. The next step is to subtract the lowest value per column this time. So per column, so that means we have to include zero as the lowest value in this case, okay? So 25 is the lowest, 25 also for column B, 14 for column C, and zero, of course, for column D. So for the second step will be, you just have to copy everything. But this time, you have to subtract. All right, so let's subtract. 50 minus 25, so that's... 25, of course, and then 25 minus 20, uh, 28 minus 25, that's 3, and then we have 10, and then that's 0, right? And then we have 25 minus 30, uh, 36 minus 25, that's 11, 5, 7, and then 0, and then for letter C, that's four, 16 minus 14, that's 2, 4, six and zero and of course the rest are zeros All right so the next step is to draw the minimum number of lines so by the word itself minimum number of lines as much as possible use only the least number of lines if possible so in this case 
the goal is to create the line to cover all the zeros, right? Cover all the zeros. So since we have only uh, zeros in the last row and the last column, therefore we only create two, two types of lines, right? So the goal is we, on, we already stop if the number of lines, the number of minimum lines, so the lines already equal to our n. In this case, our n is 4. So since 2 is less than pa for n, then it's not yet the optimal solution. We proceed to the next step. So the next step is we choose the most minimum value in that uncovered area. So the uncovered area is 2, right? So... We need to say we have to add 2 to the uh, to the lines that intersect. So to the cell where the lines intersect and we subtract the minimum value to the uncovered areas. Alright, so that is, so we repeat W, F, G and then of course, you just copy the rest, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. However, here, 2 should be added. So that's why this is 2. Next is, we subtract 2 to the uncovered areas. So that's 23, 1, 8, 9, 3, 5. Of course, that's another 0. So the goal is, another 0 should appear. Okay, And then we have uh, 2 and 4. And you repeat the process again. So let's create again the most minimum number of lines to cover all the zeros. So in this case, which uh, we can actually do this one, no? This one, that one, and that one. We can also do this one. Okay? However, the lines still is not equal to the end. Correct? So if this is our process... That one, that one, and that one. Or if we do it this way, it's still 3 is less than 4. Meaning that it's not yet the optimal solution. So, we choose again the most minimum value which is what? 1, right? And we add 1 to the cells where the lines intersect. Okay. So, we go back to creating another tableau. West side, Federated Goliath Universal. And then we just copy the rest that are covered. However, we already add one to the intersected lines. We already added one to the intersected lines. So this is one here, right? One here. And then we just copy that. Sorry. Uh, we just... Sorry if it's pakilid. So, we just have to add 1 to this area. So, that's why this is universal is already 3. So, from 2, it becomes 3. And then, the rest, you just copy 0, 0, 0. And then, this is 0, 0. And then, for the uncovered areas, you subtract the smallest or the minimum uncovered value, which is 1, right? So, that's 0. And then, we have 7. And then 2, and then 4, and then that's 1, and then that's 3. So the next is, we go back to the, to the, we go back to our rule, which is we create uh, the most minimum number of lines that will cover all the zeros. So if we do it this way, 1, 2, 3, 4, it's always 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. It's still 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So everything is already 4. So even if you do it this way, everything is already n is equal to the number of lines. So meaning that is now your optimal solution. So that is not yet the end. You have to assign now the subcontractors to the projects, making sure that all projects... So, all rows and all the columns should have one zero for, its, for itself. So, there should be one assignment for each row and each column. Now, uh, we start with a row or a column 
that has no partner zero because mean to say we should only assign that one to that column or row because nag iisa raman siya so in this case si reversal no because in this column uh, no other zeros are available okay so mean to say we cannot already choose project b and universal it's already assigned next is if we choose also uh, zero here however there's no assignment left for goliath that is why we choose zero in this dummy all right and next so we cannot choose any more dummy and goliath so there are two remaining is federated and west side so obviously west side only has one zero in its row so we will choose west side to project c and we cannot choose any more this zero right because all are already assigned this one is also assigned for this row uh, for this yeah for this row therefore federated is for project a so that means west side is for project c federated is for project a goliath will left unassigned so the for dummy and universal will have uh, b so you compute you go back to the main to the initial tableau setup and compute for the cost or measure so in this case it's terms of miles so c is west side to c that's 16 federated to a is 28 goliath to dummy of course is zero universal to b is 25 and that will lead us to 69 miles that is now your optimal solution okay and when you do it in microsoft excel so solver it's actually the same with how we did with uh, transportation problem so i will not give any sample excel uh, in this type because uh, this there's a tricky question for the number three case and uh, you might just uh, do change or alternate the, the font and the style and then just use my my excel so i would want you to do a clean slate it is on the same function with your transformation transportation rather it's just that the right hand side are all one okay good luck on your last courseware